What is going on my frosty friends? My name is Winter Cast Ice and welcome back to Pinstripe. Okay guys, so we found out a lot in the last video. Well, we apparently altered time so that we could get the, the get the sacks for our freaking happy. But because we did, it seems we uh, altered this. But we got the passcode. I think it was it was the year 1922. So we're gonna try that. Aha! Take me up. What is going on? Come on. We need to save Bo, guys. This is our only shot. Oh, okay. It looks like this is a safe spot. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, I coughed for a second. Anyways. I think I actually have an understanding of what is going on. I'm thinking Ted and Bo died. And this is like some kind of like purgatory kind of situation going on here. But I don't know for sure. Do you want to play trains with me, Ted? Bo, let's go. You can be the driver. Come on, Bo. The dizzy, dizzy driver. Oh my god. Is your poor little baby upstairs? What? Burning and dying. Oh my god. You croaking little piss! Whoa. I'll appear now, boy. With my new daddy. That's dark. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's got to be more to this. What's going on? Uh. I actually don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I'm actually kind of lost. Jump, jump. I can't even go back. You piece of trash! Aha! Take that, Pinstripe! You disturbed our perfect princess union! Oh, I'm so sorry. My bad. Time to burn! Take it away! So you try. <laughs> Ouch! That hurt. Oh, okay. So after he attacks, after he attacks, he's like. Ouch! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! He killed me! Oh, gosh. It's okay. It's okay, guys. I will be right back. Alright, guys, we're back. So let's try this again. I'm gonna break your mirror, pants guy. Yeah. Piece of trash. Yes, I am. That's who I am. You disturbed our perfect princess union. Yes, because I'm the monster here. Time to burn. Take it away. Okay. <laughs> you gotta hit me first. You gotta hit me. You gotta hit me. Okay, you gotta, you gotta hit me. You gotta hit me. Oh 
Oh, come, oh, come on! You're a piece of trash. You just stormed our perfect princess union! Uh, Time to burn! Bring figure it out sooner, but I was just so obsessed with trying to kill him that I wasn't paying attention. Stripe, pure red whiskey, red wash England. Are you serious? Right. Okay, for starters, saving the game real quick. Okay, we need to know what's going on here. Because I have my suspicions, and you guys have heard them. But it's time we got the full scoop. What the heck? Oh. What the? How? George. Well, how am I supposed to get in there? Go find Bo. Find Bo. Find Bo. George! No! George! I can't leave you! You really are man's best friend. I'll never forget you, George. Oh, I don't want to leave George behind. I like George! Whoa. Wait, so we're Miss Birdie and uh, Miss Birdie and Mr. Dickey? Puppets? Daddy! Bo! I missed you. I missed you too. Wanna play outside? Yes! So much so. <laughs> let's, let's go play, Bo. So happy to have you back. Oh, uh, is this the end of the game? Oh, oh. Oh, the world has been so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Daddy. What? That looks like Mommy's butterfly necklace. Indeed it does. Oh 
my gosh. That's such a... <laughs> let's, let's go wow. to... Wow, look, Dad. Yeah? Wish Mama's here to see this. She loved butterflies. Yeah, I bet she did. Hey, bet you can't catch all of them. I can try. <laughs> Master Produce, y'all. George! Hey, Georgie! Buddy! Oh my gosh, I, I didn't have to leave you behind. Thank goodness. Come on, George. Let's go play. Yes, we're all one big happy family. And that's not gonna change. Mommy? Oh my gosh, sweetie. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That was so beautiful. All right, so this is the, I guess this is the part where I just talk about how I feel about the game, which it, from a personal standpoint, the story is really nice. I I like it. Like there were some childish moments and but it's really a very sweet story from towards the end, but it's like there's so much darkness in all of this game and uh, like it, it, personally I love that kind of feature in a game because it tells kind of more the dark side of the story. Like from the pinstripe world apparently Bo and the preacher and Ted the preacher died in a house fire from a car crash but aha Sean McLaughlin Jack Felix Kachelberg uh, that's Felix yes well who's Miss Birdie Miss Birdie Miss, Miss Birdie I didn't see Miss Birdie on there I, I oh I didn't see Miss Birdie okay okay Miss Birdie Elizabeth Ollier that sounds familiar <laughs> crazy number one flying man okay Thomas Brush was his, a character in his own game oh, wow that's nice so yeah, feel, uh, PewDiePie and Jack Jacksepticeye are in this game. Uh, anyways, back to what I was saying. The game itself, in general, if I had to give it a rating, I wouldn't say this would be one of the best games I've ever played. Because it got re like it got really te uh, really frustrating towards the end. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still a good game. But like towards the end, there was puzzles that you could that I spent so long on for no reason because I couldn't actually finish them because I had to complete something else before I could actually get a successful attempt because like with the clock one I spent a long time like literally just going down the row literally hour after hour minute after minute trying to figure it out but nothing was happening just to find out that I had to go to a different section just to get the information I needed so that the clock would work like, that's, I mean, I get it. It makes sense. It makes it so that you can't progress through the story too quickly because you are without, you know, the whole information. But at the same time, oh, that would, like, there was no hints of it. There was no gestures towards it. Literally, I wasted so much time to figure that out. And I, I can't say that was good game design. I could say that was very, very, very annoying game design. But that aside... And the whole pinstripe fight. Oh god, the pinstripe fight. Oh my god. Like, you guys probably will have... I probably have edited it down. But my god, I spent like so long dealing with that because of freaking... I, I, I spent... I, it probably... Uh, if I remember correctly, it took seven tries to beat pinstripe. And it's just... Jesus. Aw. Oh, special thanks, Paul. Oh, can, can I pause this? I want to pause this to read that. No! When I grow up, I want to be a storyteller. Because of you, I don't have to. Oh, Such a nice quote. Featuring the beloved 1920s public domain single, By the Light of the Silvery Moon, by Miss Ada Jones. May you rest by the light of the silvery moon, 1922, North Carolina. Aww. Like they're playing- well, thank you! Oh, gosh, this game was actually a lot of fun. In, in, in all seriousness, this game was a lot of fun. Would I say it's the best game I've ever played? No, I would not. But would I say that... But, like, 
Graphics wise, absolutely stunning, beautiful. I love the artwork. The game, the, the game itself, the mechanics are really good. Some things I don't particularly like, but then again, I can assume that if this was played with a mouse, it probably would run better. But since I played, but since I played it with the PS4, the uh, the shooting mechanic was a little tricky. Uh, because I had to move the uh, the right uh, the right analog stick to aim, and it wasn't like one direction to aim. Like no, the aiming like target zone moved, and it, that that, that kind of caused some restrictions and some problems there. But that aside, uh, th those things aside, and what I talked about with the pinstripe uh, pinstripe fight, and the fact that the, there was no clues or indications to tell me to go searching in other locations. Um, uh, those aside, the game itself was very lovely. The story was good. The characters were funny. I, I would I rec I would probably recommend this game to uh, to some friends. I'd probably give this game about a three point five out of five. I wouldn't say it's quite four, but I wouldn't say it's quite three. It, it's a little bit better than most games that I've played. Cause I've played some games that are like eh. Overall, guys, this game is really really fun. Thomas Brush, you did a really good job with this game. I am looking forward to playing Once Upon a Coma, which is a, which is another game Thomas Brush is creating. It's, it hasn't been released yet, but I played the demo and it was a lot of fun, and I really do look forward to playing it, and I probably will be playing it for the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If there's any games you can think of that you would like to see me give a try, please let me know in the comment section down below. Or you can tweet at me at WinterCastLace on Twitter. I will leave a link in the description. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this series with a uh, series. And, oh, and if you liked it, make sure you press down on that like button like there's no tomorrow. And hopefully, guys, I'll get to see every single one of you in the next video and in the next series. So make sure you take care and you stay frosty.